Hi, I'm Katherine Johns with Linked Local Network, where we say link locally and connect globally. My guest is Marianne Markowitz from The Service Leader. We're about to talk about customer experience, how to create it, and why you need it in the first place. So my impression is that customer experience is kind of customer service on steroids. Is that right? That's It's basically it, Catherine. Essentially, customer service is all about the transaction between a customer and uh, the organization or the company. But, it's, but customer experience is about how people feel about those um, transactions. And it's also, from a company perspective, it, creating all of the processes and the thinking and the measurements from the customer's perspective. It's bringing the customer, it, it's an outside in kind of thinking as opposed to an inside out type of approach. So then is customer experience something I think about, you know, for Motorola and Kraft and companies like that, but what about small businesses? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Well, absolutely. tell me how they do that. Okay, well small businesses are a lot more nimble than larger organizations, and so in many cases, a, a, a an owner of a small business, whether it's themselves or it's a you know two or three person shop, can do this very quickly and very intuitively because they're very connected to their customers um, just out of necessity. And so what you'll find is that smaller organizations can have a fabulous opportunity doing um, you know it, bringing the customer's voice into their organization quickly and effectively and making the changes that they need to make to make sure that the culture of their organization is always focused on what customers need need from them. Big companies have a customer experience director, vice president, whatever. Mm -hmm. For a small company it's probably the owner, isn't it? Many times yes. Yeah. <laughs> and so what are some steps we should take to create a really good customer experience? Okay. Well first of all you really need to understand what products and services that you are selling that you're offering to the market. The next thing is you need to understand how why it is that customers want to buy that product and service and why does they want to buy it from you. What are the needs that they have that they can't get the, those needs satisfied from somebody else. And that's how you can differentiate yourself and become a preferred vendor is what they say in big companies, but the preferred go-to person to buy that product or service when they're looking for things out in the market. And then what happens is uh, you know, that person will buy from you, they'll enjoy the experience, they will enjoy the product that they get from you, and they'll continue to return over and over again, creating what everybody calls loyal customers who, who also advocate on your behalf. So essentially, once your customer becomes very loyal, they also become advocate, advocates for you. So then they help us get other customers. Absolutely. So it's like free, advertis free advertising. They'll post you on, on Facebook, they'll post you on Perfect. Twitter, they'll blog about you, they'll do all kinds of things. But when a customer really loves the product that you offer and the service that you deliver, they will always talk about you in a very positive way. So we're about learning to be loved. <laughs> That's it, yes. All right, it's perfect. Thank you for being here. This is Linked Local Network. Oh, I need to say, how can people get a hold of you? Mm, I almost of, forgot that. Lots of different ways. You can get a hold of me on my blog, calltheserviceleader.com. You can get a hold of me on Facebook, call the service Leader. How coincidental. I'm on Twitter. Uh, it's at Mary Markowitz. And my email is theserviceleader at hotmail.com. Fabulous. This is Linked Local Network. I'm Katherine Johns. Link locally. Connect globally.